Darren Pfeiffer, drummer for the band Goldfinger. Kelly Lemieux, I play bass for the band Goldfinger. That was better. Well, tell, tell us about, you know, what, what the band is up to these days. Because we know the history, and we're all trying to find out what's new with Goldfinger. Darren's up to about 6'3". Six, 6'2", six, 6'3". Two, six, three. Kelly's about 5'4". Shh. Here, let me see this for a second. Boom! Oh, oh, oh. Sorry, I got Rollins on him. Well, right now we're doing the Warp Tour, and then we're going to be recording some more songs. we got about, I think, 10 songs recorded, and then John wants to record maybe 100 more. <laughs> Before we can kind of narrow that down to a record, we'll put out a three song EP. <laughs> and then we'll put out a three song EP. Uh, you know, we got a lot of material that we got to record. And John, throughout the course of the last five years since uh, Hello Destiny came out five years ago, he's been writing and writing and writing with not just himself, but a, a lot of bands. And he's, he's accumulated so many songs that that have turned into Goldfinger songs, literally like 50 songs. So we have to kind of whittle it down to 10. So that's going to be coming out, I, I'm hoping, sometime early 2014. Mm -hmm. Hopefully on our own label, too. We're trying to figure out how to do that. So the process is a lot of songs, a lot of, a lot of jam, a lot of material. And then you, you figure out which ones are on the record. Yeah, and South America is in the middle there somewhere. And some fly out. We're going to play in uh, Rimouski, Quebec, eh? Actually, it'd be like we. It would, yeah, it could be we or a. A, we, we, a. Eh? <laughs> and we got some gigs here and there, and we're just doing the West Coast Warped right now. And uh, you're doing things with Paul Gilbert. I'm doing some things with Paul Gilbert, and they don't know who. If they're punk rockers, they don't know Dude, Paul Gilbert. They have Google. They'll look them up. Google. I like to There's Google myself. Research. There you go. <laughs> Take off, hoser. Is he from Canada? Hey. No. no. What's up with Paul? Paul, I just did his last record, and then we went. Uh, we did uh, six weeks. We did 16 countries in six weeks. I went to places I never wanted to go. Um, no, it was cool. I had a great time. And um, I'm doing a summer camp coming up. As soon as I finish this, I got to chew on about 30 songs and learn those for his summer camp. And and who knows what else after that. I'm just, you know, we're all, Darren's got stuff. We're all keeping busy. John produces. Kelly is doing a bunch of musical things. I work for a merch company and a management company and a record label. John works for a record label. Charlie's selling drugs. Like, we're all really busy. <laughs> so what is it about the gold figure sound that drew you guys to want to be a part of the band? Well, I started the band originally with John and a guy named Simon Williams, and then Charlie kind of came in very shortly after that. Simon left the band at, very shortly in the early part of the career, and then Kelly came in, he's been in the band. 15 years, but I played with John five years before Goldfinger, so well, you see. Put the pieces together. I'm the newest, yet the oldest. I know, we all just like the same bands. We all like The Replacements and The Police and Bob Marley and Bad Religion. We all kind of came, and Elvis Costello. Those are some of the artists that we all like agreed. Okay, we the all Thompson like those. Thompson Twins. And, no. <laughs> I like the Thompson Twins, dude. Hold me now. Whoa, warm my heart. Oh, my it's my heart. Yeah. Stay it's with us. How many beers have you had? That's my first beer today. What happened to MTV, man? They used to have music on television. It's now uh, TTV, television, television. <laughs> it's 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 un unreality. It's Jersey Shore TV. Actually, you know what? If you want to watch a funny video, go to Google or not Google YouTube and type in "Why doesn't MTV play videos?" It's this really creative video that someone made of uh, breaking down with the facts why MTV doesn't play videos anymore. It's really creative and really funny. So when you get a chance, check it out. That's great. Now, obviously you guys are veterans of the Warped Tour. You, you, you know what you're in for. Right? Yep. What advice do you give to the young bands who are just green, man? They're coming on for Ooh. the first time. Oh, that's an easy they're one. drinking way too much. That's an easy you one. Go first. I was going to say, um, adult diapers are just awesome. Because you can just roll around anywhere, no matter what you drank or ate, and just let it fly. I mean, you crinkle a little when you walk, but it's so loud, nobody notices. Darren, go. Air conditioning. Uh, try to find air conditioning as much as possible and water, hydrate. If you notice, I'm drinking a Budweiser beer there, but I also have a water. It's a water. It, it's a water. It's a water, but that's clearly not water. Flavored water. That's wa yeah, because water. I drink one of these, I drink one of those, and, I, and then I feel a lot better. So. Or if you like me, you just drink water. But yeah, uh, air conditioning, adult diapers would probably be top five. Yeah. Would be top five. Um, Similac. Drink a lot of Similac. It rehydrates you. You know, for babies, when they get the, the you know, the... 
the runny dumplings. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Similac, dude. It's what they give babies for, so they don't get dehydrated. I never heard of that before in my yeah. entire life. Drinks but but camaraderie uh, with the other bands. Baby, just be a baby. You know, going out and meet other bands at the catering booth. Uh, there's always um, there's always so many things that you can do. Like you can find record label executives, managers, publishers, other bands to go on tour with, merch companies. They're all out here, and all you need to do is be a little bit brazen and walk up to somebody and start a cold conversation. Next thing you know, you got a tour, you got a manager, you got a record label. Check IDs. Always check IDs and wrap that rascal. Actually, that's that's probably top five as well. <laughs> Wrap it up and check IDs. No surprises. No. Yeah, right. Jail in Texas or Arizona, it's no fun. Arizona, they make you wear, like, pink jumpsuits. Which is true. That is true. Shit, 120 degree weather, too. Yeah. With no air conditioning. Yeah. No adult diapers. And you might need diapers after. Who knows what goes on there. But up. And, and last but least... It, it, advice to a young band coming up today. It's obviously about the songs. Is the, Goldfinger is anything as songs that people want to hear. It's sure in our looks. What do the <laughs> what does that young songwriter, musician, or band got to do today to find their own style? Well, you said it right off the top, and it starts off with writing a good hook, writing a sing-alongable chorus, sing writing yeah, that's a word, isn't it? Sing-alongable, writing a writing a song or set of songs that like if people are like, well, that's cool, that's neat, it's quirky. I know pop punk has been done a million times, but there's a lot of bands on the Warped Tour right now that are doing it fresh and doing it neat. But above all else, I mean, the song is probably number one. But right, a very close second would be take advantage of all that the internet has to offer whether it be social media making your own videos having a YouTube channel uh, getting on Spotify getting on get Pandora like get like make relationships with all these companies and and be on it every single fucking day every day because that's where your fans are they're on their phones or their laptops or their iPads rich parents get really rich parents and buy your way in that's actually, there's some nugget of truth into that, because if you have a rich uncle or a rich parents, you, you can get good equipment, you can have a van, you can get insurance, gasoline, hotels. Squeaky wheels. Uh, it's. The, every band that's on this tour that's in a van has somebody that's funding it, whether it be a parent or an uncle or a trust fund or something. It's not cheap to be on a Whoop tour, because they're not getting paid. They're just showing up, they're playing on the stage for half an hour, and then they're hoping they can sell some merch or a CD to get to the next show. For, for a lot of bands, there's always that one person, whether it be a parent, or an uncle or a bank loan that's funding these bands. But take advantage of the internet and, and just write really good music.